Hello, it's Linda here at Papercraft with Crafty and today I've got this project for you. Um, it's one of these super little cracker boxes. Um, I saw one of these made by a lady who has a YouTube channel here called Dawn's Inspirations. Um, she put one together. Hers is slightly different to mine in terms of the dimensions she used and the way she's put hers together but they're very very similar um, but she did inspire me to come up with this one I've actually made an addition to mine which is this it's like a lid if you like so the idea is um, instead of having maybe a Christmas cracker on the table on, on Christmas Day these would act as like place settings and inside there would be um, a gift for uh, the parties who are attending your Christmas dinner um, so a nice little gift in there, chocolates, smellies, socks perhaps, because it's quite a decent size. Um, and then I thought it'd be nice to actually, rather than have it open, have a little lid on. And this little lid doubles up, it's a box, and I suppose that in here you could put maybe your Christmas hat. Um, maybe you could run some riddles off of the internet, some jokes. Um, anything like that. There was something else I was thinking of going there. Yeah, lottery ticket perhaps, because um, we often have those with, with, with our Christmas dinners anyway, um, in the hope that maybe some, maybe somebody might come up um, lucky on Christmas Day with a nice little monetary win. Um, so anyway, this is my box um, and I'm going to get on now and I'm going to show you how to put one together. And perhaps what I should have said was um, this project actually uses the envelope punch board. But first off, I'm going to do some um, scoring. So for this, you need two pieces of cardstock. So um, the largest piece is a sheet of A4. So that's about um, what eight and three quarters of an inch. No, sorry, eleven and three quarters of an inch by eight and a quarter inches. Um, so that's the A4 sheet and then you're going to need an extra little um, piece for the top box and this measures seven and three quarters by five and seven eighths of an inch. So going to get on now um, and do some scoring. So let me just I've already gone ahead you can see I've already pre-scored mine so I'm just going to um, I'll go through the measurements and things with you. So with the long side of your cardstock here along the top of your scoreboard you want to score at two and three quarter inches, five and a half inches, eight and a quarter inches, and at eleven inches. And then you're going to turn your cardstock and score at two and three quarters of an inch, at six inches, six and a half inches, and at seven. Okay, so let's get on and burnish these score lines. Okay, so this middle score line here that you can see, that's the one, it's, this is going to, these three um, score lines here are going to form like a mountain valley series of um, folds. So the one in the middle, you want to fold towards you like that okay and then the top one gets scored like that and this one here just fold it over like so so there you can see you've got the old mountain valley um, folds going on there Okay, so I'm going to take the scissors now and we're just going to get rid of this section here. And I'm just going to cut up these sections here. And I've got terrible light here today, so I'm having a bit of trouble actually seeing this project. Okay, so there we go. We've um, done our snipping. And now we're going to bring in the envelope punch board just to show you what we do along the top here. 
So taking the envelope punch board, we'll start off along the top here. So what you want to do is line your card up so that it's in the centre of that nozzle that you can see in there. Okay, and punch. And then move it along and position that score line there in the middle and punch. And do the same all the way along. Okay, and then what you're going to do is fold your card like that so you're folding it like so. Okay, so you've got that in the centre. And then what you're going to do is put your cardstock back in and just score, I'm oh, sorry, punch. And it does take some effort actually because you're going through a double layer of card here. So you just want to marry up each of these long score lines here centrally with the nozzle in there and punch with brute force. And finally, this one. So that is what your cardstock should now look like. So while we've got it laid out there like that, we may as well look at layering it up now with various different um, pieces that you're going to use. So I'll just go through and I'll tell you the sizes of each of the pieces of layers um, that you do need for the project. So I'm using for this project, the base layer on the main panels here is just in foil gold, sorry, silver foil. And I'll just give you the measurements that you will need for those panels. So these measure two and five eighths of an inch by three inches. So you're going to need four of those. And then you're going to layer on top of that with four panels like this. And these measure two and a half by two and seven eighths of an inch. And then you're going to need four panels little silver ones here to go along the top and these measure two and five eighths by seven eighths of an inch and then finally you want four smaller panels to go along the top and these measure two and a half inches by three quarters of an inch okay so I would go ahead and get those all pre-cut now at this point in your project going to do some um, stamping and heat embossing. So for this project I'm using this beautiful set that I've used before on some of my videos. So this is called Flurry of Wishes and I'm using this motif here and I'm also using this sentiment Merry Christmas. Okay so I'm just going to take my little um, panel here because I've already gone ahead and I've preempted everything so the other three pieces I have now heat embossed um, and I put my little beautiful gems on. So I've just got these two final little pieces that we need to do. So I'll just demonstrate to you what I'm doing. So take yourself a piece of tatty old paper. And these are the two final pieces that need to be stamped up. So for those, You need an embossing buddy, so just give that a good old rub over the top and this one, okay, so that the powder hopefully is just going to stick where it should, which is onto the stamped image and not to um, very much else. So fingers crossed. So I've already gone ahead and I put these on my clear ac acrylic blocks. I've got my Versamark watermark stamp pad here. So just want to load up the snowflake, get plenty on there and then centrally on that panel just stamp it. And then pop that to one side for a minute and I've got my sentiment here, Merry Christmas. I'm take that 
and just pop it centrally on here. And then I'm just going to bring in my silver stamp and emboss. Just sprinkle that over. Right. Okay. I'm just going to tidy this up a bit because it has actually got a few bits that are stuck where I didn't want it. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to do it with this. Normally I have a fine brush, but I've got some bits here. So I'm just going to flick those away. Okay, so that's tidied up nicely now. And I'm just going to sprinkle some powder here on my snowflake. Just turn that around because I missed a bit. Okay, so that's nicely stamped up. Um, and now I'm just going to heat um, heat set those with my heat tool. Just pop this back in its pot. What was that one I just stamped up? Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> oh, it survived. Oh my goodness me. Right, I'm just going to grab my heat. So I'm using this one, which is my new tool um, from Stamping Up. It's a two-speed um, setting on here, and I really love using this one. And it would help if I plugged it in. So. <laughs> down a bit and then I'm going to add a little embellishment to it okay so I've got here some pretty gems and I'm just going to pop one in the center like that okay and those are now ready for me to um, layer all oh, my dogs just joined me I'm going to lay it onto um, the cracker box. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone ahead and I've already started putting on my layers. So I'm now down to the two final ones. So I've stuck my silver base layers on. I'm just putting this nice and centrally here now. Like that. And finally, this little bit here. Going to go on the top. Oops, I told you I can't see anything. Light in here is dreadful, it really is bad. But I'm going to persevere. Okay, so just pop this one on the top now. So that's the final layer done. And that's just going to sit up there like that. Okay, so that all looks really quite nice now, doesn't it? And also, once you start applying these layers, it really does give the box um, nice rigidity. It makes it all nice and stiff and quite nice firm box, really. So, I'm just going to take and put some double-sided tape here and here. those down and I'm just going to bring this over now like that okay 
So there you can see beginning to take shape now. Looking at this, this is the seam where it's joined, so that's going to be the back of my box. So I'm going to fold in that back bit there, and then I'm just going to take a wedge off of here and a wedge off of here, just to help it go together a bit better. And then I'm just going to put a piece of double-sided tape along this wedged piece that I just cut. So just the one piece on there. So that's going to come across oops, like that. Okay. And then I'm going to put a piece here along this wedged piece that we cut. And a piece along here. And that will fold across here. And then finally I'm going to put double sided tape along this edge, this edge and this edge. going to fold over here so you've got really nice flush finish all the way around no no saggy bottom and so all that remains now is just to um, just put some nice decorative um, ribbon around the top here just to pretty it up so for that I've got some of this lovely um, what is it it's silver eighth of an inch ribbon so I'm just going to cut off enough to be able to tie a nice little bow on the front here. And you'll see you can slightly draw in the top as you pull the ribbon like that. I'm going to turn it away from me because I find that the bows are better if I turn the box away from me for some odd reason. So I'm just going to tie myself a bow. made an absolute hash of that, never mind. <laughs> Okie dokie, um, just imagine that that is the most perfect bow that you've ever seen. So, just trim a little bit off. And then I've got somewhere some silver cording trim. I'm just going to tie some of that around as well. I love this stuff. It just makes everything look really sparkly and pretty. So I just tie, cut myself off a little piece here. And just tie like that. And a little knot to sit behind the bow. Okay. So there you go, you've got the picture, that's that. So now all we need is the lovely little um, box to go on the top. So I'm going to show you how to put that one together now. Right then, for the top box, your little piece of cardstock, I think I've given you the measurements already, but it's seven and three quarters by five and seven eighths of an inch. Okay, with the short side along the top of your box, you're going to score at five eighths of an inch, and then at one and five eighths of an inch, and then at four and a quarter, and then at five and a quarter inches. And then you're going to turn your card around and you're going to score at one inch, three and five eighths of an inch, four and five eighths of an inch, and seven and a quarter inches. Okay, so when you've done that, You just need to go around and burnish all of the score lines. So grab my bone folder. Up 
that's all my burnishing done. And so now we're just ready to lose a few little pieces. So. Taking the scissors, what you're going to lose is this skinny rectangle this side. You're going to lose both pieces here, so those can go. And then you're going to cut along up to this score line here, and to get rid of these pieces. And then down here. And in cut along here and then down here and like I say you can see I'm really not seeing this terribly well from this perspective but I'm gonna persevere okay and then you want to snip down this score line and lose this little triumph this sorry this little rectangle here and then likewise on the opposite side use that rectangle and cut down like that cut down here lose this one cut down here and lose this one so that your little box template should now look like that. Okay, and what I'm just going to do is just take a wedge from this layer, so this outer side, sorry, and this one, and do the same on the other side. And then I've got my corner punch here, so I'm just going to use that on this little section here. So I'm just going to pop that in and punch. Move all these bits out of the way. Pop that in and punch. Didn't do that very well, did I? Try again. Okay. And this one, and that one. Okay, and then you're ready just to stick the box together. Okay, so I'm just going to pop some double sided tape here, like this. What am I trying to do? I'm just going to fold it over like that. Okay, so then you can see that's your box formed. So those fit in like that. That pops in like so. She said. Okay. So that's the little box done. And now just to put the little decorative panels on the top. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put this little um, layer on the top here. But before I do it, I'm going to just do a little bit um, of decorative embossing um, around the top. So I better tell you that this is this little piece of cardstock measures two and a half inch squared. Okay, and what I do. is I take my scoreboard and my stylus and I pop my card in and you want to flip it over so you're going to be scoring or embossing whatever you want to call it on the back so I've put this in so you can see it's sitting there at the two and a half inch mark so I'm coming in now just a shade down from the top on the two and three eighths of an inch score line and I'm just going to score not all the way down to the bottom just like that so I'm stopping short so if you can see I've missed out this little bit at the top and this little bit at the bottom so just scored in between those two um, areas there then flip the card round and score again 
down to the bottom like that flip your card round and do exactly the same again just stopping shy of the bottom there and then finally there so what you end up with is that nice beveled look okay which I use quite a lot on my projects so that's that done so I'm just going to put some double sided tape on the back of this now the right way up and I'm just going to pop that on like that okay okay so what I want to do is just um, put a pretty snowflake on the top of my box as per this one here so I'm just going to quickly um, stamp up and, and heat emboss another one of these snowflakes Okay, so there we go. That's all been um, stamped and heat embossed and it's ready to punch out now using the, um, the punch. I think I need to just take a little bit of card stock off of there just so that this fits in here nicely. So that fits around the snowflake like so. And punch it out and then I'm taking my eighth of an inch circle punch and I'm just going to place that centrally and just punch a hole like that and then I'm going to grab oops wrong one I'm going to grab my ribbon again I'm just going to cut off a little piece going to just push that through the hole like that just pull it up through so you've got a little piece there and then lose a bit more don't need quite that much ribbon I'm just going to stick this down to the back of the snowflake so that's going to stick on there like that that's going to stick on there like that and then I'm just going to take my box and I'm going to grab a couple of dimensionals actually I'm going to more than a couple I'm going to pop about four of them on okay and then I'm just going to my pretty snowflake around like that and then I'm going to pop that on there so you can see that looks really pretty and I'm just going to finish off with a few little sparkly details just to really bling it up for Christmas Okay, so that's the lid done. Bring my box back. Okay, so you can see they look really pretty. And that's just going to pop on the top there like that. Okay, so that's it really. Pure, quite a simple project. Nothing too complicated about it, but it just produces a really, really attractive um, box, which I think will look lovely um, on the Christmas table. 
as a place setting for your dinner guests um, with, with a lovely gift inside. Um, so thank you for watching and I do hope you go away and have a go at this one and I will be back again with another little project for you very shortly. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.